I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell uh, was old when the second... Uh, oh, I was about to say UI. <laughs> second Ul Dynasty. Was that Jesus Christ? That was Jesus Christ that just passed me. God damn. <laughs> I forsook the Lord to talk about mining with Anime Hulk here. Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for miners. Alright, now we need to head to Uldar. What am I doing? I have all the money in the world now. I can just teleport to Uldar. Man, it would be nice if I actually had like a normal shield. Not just a plank of wood. Welcome to the quicksand, friend. I'm a tad busy right now, if you wouldn't mind showing yourself to... Judging by your uh, determined expression, I take it you ain't here for ale. Are you called Jaxic Lamond by any chance? We've met before, Mamudi. Mjol sent word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment. That ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to uh, get started. So let's talk business, shall we? The petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. Gods almighty, another second under that sun and I would have been set afire. A tankard of ale if you'd be so kind. Oh, it's another fucking... <laughs> Like, it really is so hard to take Lalafell seriously. But, like, as you learn, it somehow the game makes it harder. By having them, like, giving them, like, the most cartoonish facial hair and giving them terrible fucking names like Coco Bussy. <laughs> God, I... I'll, I'll never get over that. I will never get over the fact that there is a character in this game called Coco Bussy. Excellent timing, Papashan. It just so happens the adventurer who will be handling your petition is here. So this strapping young lad is a much lauded adventurer, is he? Marvelous. Marvelous! A pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. I am Papa Shan, formerly of the Sultan Swan. I thank you for agreeing to lend us your aid. Mayhap you'd like to appraise, uh, to apprise Jake, <laughs> Jake, Jaxic of his mission. You might goddamn dyslexia. Yes, of course. The petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine, uh, at Al uh, Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concerns. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copper Bell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. Ooh. Giants. <laughs> Something you're not. These giants are the clan known as the Hecatonchiers, fearsome creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn Dynasty. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock, uh, which served to imprison them. Now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and their presence has forced uh, the suspension of all mining activities on the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Did the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, my lady. People of their age used the Hecatonchiers to work their mines. By way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But as is off the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up uh, against their masters. Uh, soon they'll have enough hair to qualify as anime gnomes. God. They, they really are just anime gnomes. That's what Lollafels are. They are anime gnomes. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hecatonchi years, our, uh, nah, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mine's lowermost levels. So as that, the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock. Well now, that's got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell in the Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. It said the mines were being reopened uh, so as to meet the rising demand for building materials. Like as not, our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods. Uh, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. It's a long time to nurse a grudge. It must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them a danger to us all. There will be no mining at Copperbell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is the task which we would uh, have you undertake. I'll not deny that uh, that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. Yeah, sure, dude. God bless you. I feared you might uh, might have reservations. 
but I assure you it is for the best. Hmm. In case you don't know, Copper Bell Mines are in Western Thanalan. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Armagina and Sons is presently at the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Messer. What a name. And he knows Copper Bell Mines well. It may behoove you to seek his counsel. Alright, up. Oh, hi. <laughs> Looking for Painted Messer? You found him. So you're the adventurer who's volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copper Bell, aren't you? I really wasn't expecting him to just be eavesdropping on this conversation. You've got guts, mate. I just hope you've got the skills to go with them. Because things ain't pretty down there. The Hecatonchi years have left the place in a right state. In nearly a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell uh, was old when the second... Uh, Oh, I was about to say UI. <laughs> Second Ul Dynasty. Was that Jesus Christ? That was Jesus Christ that just passed me. God damn. <laughs> I forsook the Lord to talk about mining with anime Hulk here. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell was old when the Second Ul Dynasty was still young. It was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for the rebuilding effort, uh, the concern would have uh, would never have thought to reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went uh, went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under mountains uh, with a rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many, they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will uh, grind to a halt uh, for want of aught to build with. The stone torches are keeping watch over uh, over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. I hope the nation's resting on you, friend. Best of luck. Got it. To the mines. The children yearn for the mines. Man, that would have actually been a really good name for, like, <laughs> the, uh, the highlight episode. Fuck. If I somehow had, like, a full party of Lollafell like with me for uh, Copper Bell Mines, I could have called the episode Children Yearn for the Mines. One day I'll get a mount chat. One day. Go with this lighting, it looks like I'm wearing arseless chaps. And there's been an incident inside Copper Bell Mines. We are here to ensure that its effects are contained. But for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from here. What? You're the adventurer who volunteered to quell the Hecatonchi S? I didn't think that Papa Sean would be able to find someone so quickly. If at all. The Giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready as best as you can and enter at will. Copper Bell Mines now accessible. Time to tank a dungeon! The other two dungeons I played as a DPS. Alright, dinguses, follow my lead. Well, best thing about tanking early game dungeons, I don't have to fucking think. All I gotta do is make sure that they're, like, focused on me and that's it. Pull the lever, Kronk. Are you guys not coming? Chad, I don't think my, uh, my guys are coming. Oh, okay, good. They just teleport to me, thank god. <laughs> that could have been bad. Can't just spin the win, baby. Spin the win. Alright, so where the hell is the first boss? It feels like we've been hidden here forever. Fire sand. Oh boy, I wonder what we're supposed to do here. Don't work without fire sand as a power. Didn't I just do that? Powder chamber appears to hold 12. Oh, did I? Ah, okay, so I only have half of it. Oh, pfft. I did not see the other half there. Okay. Here we go. First boss. Let's go. Bonk. And that's the mechanic. He just jumps around a little bit. Another early game boss. I didn't expect it to be, like, you know, two mechanics heavy. I was still, like, kind of expecting more than, like, one mechanic in a tank buster. Um, okay. Well, I gotta eat this since I don't have my defensive. Eh. Still did roughly the same. Easy boss. No level up. <laughs> like, I leveled up, but no, like, level up fucking music. 
Ooh, plenty of gauntlets. Shaft B4. Shaft B4 what? Head? Penis joke. A pink... Uh, item. What the fuck is that? What is a pink item? Okay, that's the... First one of those I've picked up. What the fuck does that mean? Is that just like a rarity tier? Final Fantasy XIV, mixing it up with like a uh, rarity colors, adding pink into the mix for some reason. I've read that as foreskin mitts. <laughs> oh god, me and my dyslexia, I swear to god. Ooh, a slime. Oh, of course it splits up into different bits. Oh, okay. It just indicators for AOAs, got it. I thought it was something more than that. I thought it was uh, spawning ads. It always seems to be in the same pattern. Like kind of an S pattern. A really shitty S pattern. Not a cool S pattern, like a cool S. Alright, easy boss. And we really didn't get, like, any uh, good loot from this. Got gloves, that seems to be it. Everything else is shit I've already got. The fuck is a hippo cough? Part of a hippogriff, but not a hippo cuff. Another dude coming out of the walls. He's in the walls! He's in the goddamn walls! Yeah, the beginning of this dungeon is like a lot longer than the rest of it. It feels like. Slaves no more! Free! Free! That's a big fucking hammer. He angy. He may be angy, but he about to die. All right, so what's your gimmick? All right, big AOA centered around himself, but like not under him. All right. Is that it? Okay, no, he has more. Ah, okay. Slams the ground, causes rocks to fall from the ceiling. It is big AOEs, but they're really easily, uh, really easily telegraphed. Got it. I'm gonna Captain America my shield my way to victory. Ah, never mind. Okay, there we go. Man! Copper Bell Mines, kind of underwhelming. Still, early game dungeons. Came out of that level 26. Fuck. We gained seven levels from that dungeon. Oh, guess we got uh, two more uh, job quests to do. Here, let me swap to Thaumaturge so Thaumaturge can get the uh, quest experience for finishing the dungeon. Oh, okay. A fight's gonna happen here? Alright. Well, shit. I have to play Thaumaturge. <laughs> Ah, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume, and all Da will have the material she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good tidings with Papa Shan the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to report to Mamodi. It'll do the woman well to see you alive in one piece. No! No what? I heard a woman scream! Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. But please, sir. I did steal nothing. I brought this. Paid for this with, uh, with my own... Oh, God. I'm stumbling and bumbling my way through this conversation like I'm fucking Porky Pig. What rot? You, ref uh, you refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford uh, maggoty mole meat. Much less... Uh, much less... Dyslexia plays, holy shit. <laughs> okay, so the real annoying thing about my dyslexia, like, I, I gotta mention, because, like, people uh, in the YouTube comments actually ask me, it's like, how does your dyslexia actually affect you? How does it work? So, when I read things, I take a... Like, I can't, like, read them at, like, a proper rate. What I do is I quickly glance over the words and guess the words. 
that's how I read shit, like, at a, at a, like, normal person's pace. If I were to read things in, like, a speed to stop myself from actually, like, stumbling over my own, like, mental disability, I'd be reading like this. What rot? You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mole meat, much less a choice cut of dodo. Yeah, like, I speed things up and guess read specifically to speed up these dialogue sections in these videos and in these streams. So, like, if I had to play an MMO and read like that, no one would fucking watch. <laughs> Gonna say one more time. Give back what you stole or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over uh, to the brass blades. You know, help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, your authorities needn't hear of your crime. But yeah, when it comes to, like, me bumbling over the words when I speed read like that, that's when, like, that's when my brain notices that, like, one of the words that I've just said or I'm about to say is wrong, and it tries to, like, hit the brakes. It's like, no, 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 go back, read it, read it, read it, no, stop. <laughs> that's how my brain works when I read. But, but, I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve is me witness. But yeah, because of my dyslexia, I've gotten pretty decent at, uh, like, just guessing how conversations go. That's also why when I read names in fantasy games, I have to stop. Because it's literally a word I have never seen before, so I don't know how to read it. But please, adventurer, help me! I beg ye! I swear on me mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I brought this with a, a coin I saved, sob. I only wanted to treat me children in a decent, uh, to a decent meal. And who the hells are you? Yeah, who the hells are you when you're at home? This dog's master? I've had enough of this mum's farce. You lot, teach him a lesson. Uh, I have to do this as a fucking thaumaturge. Great. Come on, game. Chop, chop. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Nice Final Fantasy fucking uh, fight music start. I like that. I thought that was actually kind of funny. Man, look at the no damage I'm doing. A level 19 to a level 11. Oh, did my alert not go off? Okay, weird. <laughs> Teriyaki with the raid! Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Everyone coming in from the raid. Hi, my name is Jaxic. As you can see, I am an orc. <laughs> this is a recent change. This is a recent change, but, um... Uh, I'm a variety streamer. I tend to play whatever the hell I want. I do play a lot of RPGs, though. Recently, I've gotten uh, into uh, the actual MSQ. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. I am a uh, World of Warcraft player. So, uh, all of this is kind of new to me. I did technically play uh, 14 back in the day, but I purchased the skip so I could play uh, the end game with my friends. And uh, I was told that was a very big no no. Hey, here we go. Some actual damage. Holy shit. Thormaturge can do damage? Who'd have thunk? Hold up. Let me test a follow. Drum car. Yeah, that worked. How come the raid doesn't work? Okay. Weird. <laughs> no idea why uh, the raid alert doesn't work, but everything else does. Huh, I'll need to go back and fix that after the stream. That sucks. Thank you, kind adventurer. Thank you, thrice over. Uh, uh ma'am, you might want to... Move out the way, I'm about to vomit. Ah! What are you playing as? I am playing as a human in this because I really didn't like any of uh, the other races. Uh, as for what job I'm playing as, I'm switching between all of them because I want to see 
like all of the uh job quests i'd swear there were more uh there were more refugees than when i last looked you wouldn't be mistaken it's been five years since the calamity why are they only coming here now god that dude has some massive lips i just noticed simple really while a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity many were no longer able to support their communities the residents found their land said it either been uh, rendered barren or cut off from trade routes and problems like those aren't easily solved though they tried to make the best of it it's only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city uh, I was playing Sims 4, uh, but a no skills, no problems, uh, make it so hard. Right. God. I've never played The Sims myself. Like, my mother used to play Sims 1 all the time. <laughs> so, like, I know of The Sims, and I know, like, how annoying The Sims can be at times. The calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? Is the same thing happening in other cities? If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Uldar has a reputation for being uh, prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them. It truly does. But I'd be lying if I said that I wa uh, wasn't apprehensive. I hope the presence doesn't uh, foment lawlessness in the city. Well. <laughs> well. Basically, you can't improve your skills whatsoever. Oh, God. How does that work for cooking? <laughs> so I remember when I was, yeah, real young, watching my mother play. She had a character with no cooking skills try to cook something for, like, the rest of the family, and the whole house caught on fire. <laughs> well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. Heroes who fought the Gullian Empire, patrolling the streets for riffraff? May well come to that. Impoverished and, de uh, and desperate as they are, you may be sure uh, that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. <sighs> what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo Tenderloins. Get your Dodo Tenderloins. Guaranteed. Cheapest in Thenaland. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please, come again. Looking around, you think that Uldar was well on his way to recovery. Appear through the Veil of Prosperity, and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Uh, actually quite well in four it's weird uh but i'm not making enough <laughs> not making enough dosh yeah right he's just just scraping by paycheck to paycheck it sir you all right i didn't vomit on myself did i what now you mean to threaten a defenseless citizen what saw her buy the meat you say that's absurd. Aye, as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? Could it be the man height? No, it's not man. If I can... God, I've forgotten her name. Uh, you stole her. <laughs> Here we go. You stole her hiding behind fucking... Uh, the thing there? Grr, I'll look... Uh, I'll overlook this, but just this once. God's bless you, adventurer. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. It don't bear thinking about. Remember, you're appreciated and your content is loved. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Aw, oh, tug at my heartstrings. Ever the selfless hero, I say. Hey, Stola, been a while. I've been watching you closely ever since you flew out of Limsa Laminza. You discharge your duty as the Admiral's personal envoy with admirable humility. You've displayed unfaltering courage in the face of danger ever since. Whensoever you came upon uh, those in need, you gave them succor with no thought of personal gain. 
In summary, you've demonstrated all the qualities we seek in an adventurer. For reasons I cannot well explain, your every deed seems invariably uh, to serve the general good, whether you mean it to or not. It is a happy knack and one uh, which speaks volumes of your, uh, for your character. Yet for all your admirable qualities, it is your gift which intrigues me most. I speak of the visions you experience, visions like the one you had mere moments ago. If I'm not mistaken, I can provide you with the means to understand them. An acquaintance of mine is blessed with the self-same talent, you see. If you so desire, I can introduce you to her. She and I fight for a common cause, a cause which would greatly benefit for your support. If you would agree to lend us your strength, we should be glad to do all within our power to aid you in your personal endeavours. Think on my offer a while, should you decide to accept it. Pray speak with Modi. Uh, the proprietress of the quicksand is a close friend and ally of ours. Inform her that you have been chosen by the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and she will tell you where to find us. God, what a name for a group. Feels a bit much, don't you think? Scions of the Seventh Dawn? It sounds ominous as shit. Ah, Jaxic. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh of the carriage adventurer. Gods, it is good as uh, it's good to see that you're safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you'd been hard at it with giants in the dark. Your every ill the adventurer Mion said you'd be. Uh, the uh, the station master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew he. I knew who she was, uh, she meant right away. But thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. Oh, wait, isn't this the woman that kept that dead dude's head? <laughs> God, I hope not. My name is Edda. I'm an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to the knee. Oh, Skyrim joke! Kill me. Yeah, though I'm not very good at being one. If truth be told, anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when, when, uh, I'm sorry, we were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. You were, you are the woman who kept that dude's head. His name was Avir, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. I never met the man. I didn't realize I had a simp. God. He saw you for what you are. You see, an adventurer's adventurer. And swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded. Had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. Hey, like I said back then. It's his own fucking fault for running out of the way of your, uh, out of your heel. It's his own goddamn fault. When I think of the man you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I'm inspired, just as a fair once was. And so I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I'll go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask of your name. Uh, name's Jaxic, I'm just some guy. Jaxic Lamond. I shan't forget. Thank you, Jaxic Lamond. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Man, your uh, deceased ex-husband. Kind of a weirdo. Adventuring can be cruel, bleeding business. The time was, I didn't know why anyone would bother. Uh, when they first asked me to take uh, charge of a guild here, I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it'd be a right pain in the ass looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post. And I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, Jaxec. Yeah? What'd you say? Wanna know about the Scions of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest then. Listen, Jaxec. The Scions ain't no ordinary folk. And the work... Uh, they do. Ain't no ordinary work. 
I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting uh, some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you'll want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. So you'll want to know more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear if I paint, uh, painted certain death on a door and limitless wealth on another, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being all done. <laughs> anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these scions of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who have made it their mission to solve some of Aeorcia's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task. And so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Jaxek. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to find the Scions, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Aeorcia's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vespa Bay, out in Western Thanalan. The place you're looking for is called Waken Sands. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Jaxic, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget about them as, uh, about them as helped make you the adventurer uh, you are. Uh, drop in and tell them how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right. Well, I've set my pace. Off you go. Alright, but before we do that, we have a whole bunch of uh, gladiator job quests we gotta do.